Amal Kumar and here is a very important question from previous test paper. The question is, a pendulum swings through an arc of 38 centimeters. On each successive swing, the length of the arc is 98% of the previous length. Find the length of the arc in 10th swing and part B is, on which swing is the length of the arc less than 30 centimeters. We also have a related question where we will do part C and D to find the distance traveled along the path. Okay, so let's begin to answer these ones. So we have a pendulum. Let's see, this is the pendulum, right? Now when it is swinging, it is swinging from one end to the other, right? So that is the pendulum which is swinging from one end the, to the other. And what we are seeing here is this length along the arc, this length along the arc, is 38 centimeters to begin with. So this from here to here is 38 centimeters, correct? So that is what is given to us, arc length, from here to here. Second, when it moves in second time, that is to say, when it returns, from here, it will not move 38 centimeters, but it is going to decrease and the length will be 98% of 38 centimeter. That's the question. I hope the question is very clear. And then, you know, it just keeps swinging like this. You need to find the length of the arc in 10th swing. So that is what the question is. So let's try to un understand the question. So we have number of swings, let's say first swing, right? In the first swing, we know the length is uh, 38 centimeter, right? So I'm just writing the number 38. And the second, it should be 98% of 38, that means 38 times 0 0.98, right? In the third swing, it will be 98% uh, of this, right? That is to say 38 times 0 0.98 times 0 0.98, which I could write as square. So likewise, in every swing, it will be reduced and will be 98% of the previous. So it is kind of a geometric series, right? So it is a geometric series as we have seen here. And general formula for that, looking into this trend, we could write Tn will be equals to 38 times 0 0.98 to the power of and this power is one less than the number of terms, right? So it is n minus 1. Is that okay? So that becomes the formula for us. Now, we need to find the length of the arc in 10th swing. So we'll replace n with 10. So, so in 10th spring, uh, swing, it will be 3.8 times 0 0.98 to the power of 10 minus 1, which is 9, right? So let me rewrite this first. So 3.8 into 0 0.98 to the power of 9. And let's calculate this. So it is, uh, I, I don't know why am I right, 3.8. It's 38, I'm sorry. It is 38. So not 3.8, 38. Okay. So let me rewrite this. So in the 10th swing, it is 38 times 0 0.98 to the power of 9. Okay. And let's calculate how much is that. So it is 38 times 0.98 to the power of 9, 10 minus 1, which is 61, 31.68. So it is 31.68. So we could write approximately it is uh, 31.7 centimeters, correct? So that is going to be the arc length in the tenth swing. Now the second part of this question is on which swing is the length of the arc less than 30? So minimum we are looking for 30 that means. So here we will again use the same formula but we don't know what n is. So we will write 30 for t of n. So it is 30 equals to 38 times 0 0.98 to the power of n minus 1. We can divide 30 by 38. So we get 30 divided by 38 equals to 
0 0.98 to the power of n minus 1. Now to find n minus 1, we have to take log, right? So we'll take log of 30 divided by 38, which should be equals to n minus 1 times log of 0 0.98, right? So from here we can get n minus 1 equals to log of 30 divided by 38 over log of 0 0.98, correct? This is n minus 1, right? So n will be, we'll add 1 to this. Okay, let's figure this out. How much is that? So we have log of 30 divided by 38. Now we have to divide this by log of 0.98, which gives you 11.7, right? So, so this number is 11.7. So that means we are looking for less than 30. So it is basically 12th swing, right? And that is n minus 1. And therefore, n is equals to 12 plus 1. That is 13th swing. Is that okay? So the answer is 13 for the next one. Correct? So we get n equals to 13. I hope this method is clear to you. So whenever you want to find the exponent, you may need to review the skills to use logarithms. You take log on both the sides and then apply the rules, power rule, and solve for n. So that is how it could be done. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps you to understand the concept. Thank you, and all the best.